Bulgy's Hectic Halloween. It was Halloween night on Sodor, and everybody was excited for the festivities of the evening. All except for Bulgy. He just couldn't figure out why a night dedicated to ghosts, ghouls and monsters would be such a big deal. Whenever he even heard someone just mention Halloween, he'd wish he could be anywhere else. As usual, Bulgy was sulking at Maithwaite Station when Thomas pulled in. Hello, Bulgy. Are you excited about Halloween? <laughs> because I certainly am. What? You're excited about a night when quote-unquote ghosts that go bump in the night come out to play? That's something I'll never understand. Yet for some reason, almost every engine believes in these ridiculous ghost stories about a haunted engine who comes back to terrorise the one reasonable engine who couldn't care less. Just silly. Oh, did I hear something about a ghost story? Well, Edward's told me some good ones. Would you like to hear one? Of course not. Well, it was a long time ago. Oh, here we go. And a stealth engine from a steelworks on the mainland was coming to Sodor to bring equipment to fix a damaged bridge. But when he saw an engine on the other side of the ravine, wanting to trick him, he said, Invisibility! On! And tried to sneak up on the engine. But he was too distracted, not realising he was approaching the broken edge, until it was too late. Ah! And every year, on the date of the accident, he lets off a ghastly whoosh of steam and sneaks up on you. If the steam disappears, then it's already too late. <laughs> oh, did that brighten your spirits, Bulgy? But Bulgy wasn't happy. He was cross. That was the most ridiculous story I've ever heard, Thomas. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to do my nightly passenger run. I don't have time to listen to silly stories from silly engines like you. And as Bulgy slunk away, Thomas began to think of a plan. Bulgy had finally finished dropping off his last passengers for Vickerstown Station when his driver spoke up. Did you hear that, Bulgy? Hear what? I think I heard a whistle coming from the tunnel near the rolling bridge. What? But now the engines are supposed to go to or come from the mainland until tomorrow. Perhaps Thomas is just trying to spook me. Or there might be a broken down passenger train that needs our help. We should at least check. Grr. And I was looking forward to going back to the bus yard for a nice long rest. Bulgy angrily made his way to the tunnel and saw no train in trouble. Just as I thought, it was a waste of time. Invisibility. Oh, no. Well, what, what, what was that? Driver, I think we should leave. Suddenly, a rush of steam came whooshing out of the darkness. Ah, look, there he is! Ha ha ha! Wow, that was an excellent trip, Thomas, and I finally get to meet someone else from the island of Odor. <laughs> it's so dull, Merlin, and thanks for helping me out with this trick. Just wait till I tell Theo, Lexi, Frankie and Hurricane about this. The next day, Bulgy was noticeably quieter as he waited for Thomas, and as he rolled through, Thomas ominously said, Don't say I didn't warn you, and he chuffed away.